Jesus lived in a town on the shores of a big lake called the Sea of Galilee. It was a fishing village. One day, as Jesus was walking down the shore of the lake, he saw two men in a boat. Like many of the village, these were fishermen. They were tossing their nets into the water for a catch of fish. Their names were Simon and Andrew. Come, follow me, Jesus called out to the men. I will make you fishers of men. Would they come? Would they really leave their nets, their boat, and maybe the fish they just caught? Didn't they have jobs, goals, dreams? But without even hesitating, Simon and Andrew got up, left their nets and jobs behind, and followed Jesus. Then Jesus, Andrew, and Simon, also called Peter, continued walking along the shoreline. There in the distance, they saw three men in a boat, fixing their fishing nets. These men were James, his brother John, and their father Zebedee. When Jesus called them, they responded. Immediately, John and James dropped their fishing nets, jumped out of the boat, and left their father Zebedee. Jesus' call was profound, and though they had never met him, God's power enabled them to respond to his call. These ordinary fishermen were embarking on a journey that would change their lives forever. Jesus could have called any person of stature or leadership, but instead he called lowly fishermen. He knew that God's power would be greatly displayed in these ordinary men. In a few years, they would become the messengers to spread the gospel to all the nations of the world. A great task indeed. In the end, Jesus chose 12 disciples. These men would be scholars, learning from Jesus for the next three years. He would teach them about God, obedience, and love. He would explain to them why his coming was so important. Their sole aim would be to proclaim Jesus as the Messiah, him crucified and resurrected. The names of the 12 disciples were Peter, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Matthew, James, Thaddeus, Simon, and Judas.